Hello kids. In the second part of this chapter, we are going to study about the dispersal of seeds, new plants from other parts of the plants, crops and the vegetables, protection of crops and the storage of seeds. Why there is a need of dispersal of seeds? Because plants are fixed to the ground and cannot move from one place to another. So if all the baby plants grow near the parent plants, not all would survive. They would not get enough sunlight, food, water and space to grow. That's why the process in which some agents carry the seeds or fruits away from their parent plant is called dispersal of seeds. And the agents are wind, water, animals, explosion of fruits. Seeds dispersed by wind, they are light and have hair or wings so they can be easily carried away by the wind. Examples are cotton seed, madar seeds, heptate seed. Seeds dispersed by water. Examples are the lotus fruit which has a spongy part to float on the water. The coconut plant which has a fibrous outer covering to enable them to float on the water. Seeds dispersed by animals. Some seeds have hooks or spines so they get stuck to the hairy skin of animals and are carried away. Bird swallows some seeds which come out unchanged in their droppings. Examples already given Xanthium seed which has stiff hair. Tiger nail seed has hooks. Spare grass has spines. Seeds disposed by explosion. Pea in a pod explode when dry and the force of the explosion helps to scatter the seeds. New plants from the other parts of the plants. And those parts are stem, underground stems, roots, leaves. Potato is a underground root. Any part of a potato which has an eye can grow into a new plant. A new plant can grow from the root of a sweet potato. Rose, hibiscus and the sugar cane. They are the stems and the stem cutting of a rose can grow into a new plant. The leaves of the bryophyllum. New plants can grow from the leaves of the briar phylum. Next topic is crops and the vegetables. Plants of one kind grown in a particular area or a region during a particular period are called crops. Two type of crops, rabi crops and the kharif crops. Rabi crops grow in the month of November to April. We call them winter crops. Examples are wheat and the gram. And the kharif crops, they grow in the month of June to October. And we call them monsoon crops. Examples are rice, maize, jawar and the bajra. The example of the kharif crop is maize and the rabi crop is wheat. Vegetables like cabbage, cauliflower, radish, bean and pea grow during winters. Vegetables like brinjal, pumpkin and gourd grow in the summer. Different plants need different kinds of soils to grow. Rice and the jute plant grow in the clay soil. Wheat, jawar, bajra, onion and the groundnut, they grow in the sandy soil. Cotton plant grow in the black soil. Tea plants need moist soil. Maize plant grow in the dry soil. Coconut trees, they grow near the coastal area. The definition of the agriculture. The practice of growing plants on a large scale is called agriculture. Manure and the fertilizers like urea, superphosphate, Ammonium sulfate and nitrate are added to the soil to increase the production of crops. Use of insecticides and pesticides sprayed on the standing crops protect them from being destroyed by pests. After harvesting, grains need to be protected. After harvesting, grains need to be protected against moisture, so stored in a airtight sealed containers. A good crop adds to the wealth of a country. I hope all the points are clear to you. That's it for today. Bye.